meeting at, uh, ready? Yeah. Okay, 732, I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Mm -hmm. The Pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Patterson? Here. Henderson here. Conan? Here. Sleds? Here. Galecki? Here. Okay, so approval of agenda. So before we approve tonight's agenda, I've got some revisions. So um, we have the land split on Fulton. So I'd like to move that. Um, from number seven to number nine and move eight and nine. So eight would be seven, nine would be eight, and seven would be nine. Um, so the reason being uh, the land split is going to be kind of um, how we do the special approval, and then the land split will be uh, the special approval will be contingent on the land split going through. So but there's some stuff to go through on um, the driveway. Um, so the next thing I'd like to add, I'd like to add uh, a number um, 11, and Ten that's going to, huh? 10A. Huh? 10A. 10A? Mm -hmm. 10A? Mm -hmm. Okay, 10A. So that will be our uh, the letter that we ask council to do. We're going to discuss that. <coughs> so we need discussion on the changes. If there are none, somebody make a motion to approve the agenda. As yeah, amended. Yeah. Oh, so moved. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay. So approval of minutes uh, for ten. Oh, only uh, Pledge Conan and Patterson. Motion to approve the minutes as presented. Of May 10th, 2017. <coughs> second. May 10th. Okay. Okay, you got it, second? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so move. Cool. Um, now minutes from uh, December 6th. to the public hearing for 
Um, the clinic itself we're going to be using for administration and possibly some smaller animal boarding among other smaller services we're going to <coughs> offer. In the back of the clinic is a 30 by 30 pole barn to the southern side of the clinic, which is going to help in all different ways uh, with screening and, and noise mm -hmm. and whatnot. My kennel buildings, um, <coughs> there'll be a drawing for you how they're going to be set up. There's two separate kennel buildings. I only have nine runs of a very small kennel. Um, they will be uh, fully functional buildings. They're insulated. They're almost like a house, really. I built them almost exactly like a house. Tile floor, RFP, uh, paneling and whatnot, heating and cooling, professional grade, uh, kenneling with the fencing. Those will be surrounded by, um, well, the uh, fencing for the dogs themselves and the units is six foot high, surrounded by a six foot privacy fence. The buildings all on all four sides. All four of those sides where applicable will have uh, green belt screening. That's going to cut down on pretty much everything. And I invite anybody who's here that has any concerns about this kennel that you can come and see what exactly what did I have set up at my house already. I'm bored and proud to give tours. Um, one of the considerations that they brought up here is odor. And I'm very proud to say that my kennels do not stink ever, ever. Um, everything is sanitized with bleach inside and outside, including the pea gravel runs. Noise, I know that that is a concern with it being behind the clinic, with it being uh, to the side of the pole barn. With the six foot fence and the uh, wind out, the possibility of noise is minimized, and I have to admit personally, just because I more dogs doesn't mean I want to hear them myself. I don't allow them to sit out there and bark. Dogs bark, I get that. I don't want to hear it. My neighbors don't want to hear it. Um, so I've, I honestly have never really had a problem. I have neighbors at my house currently that don't even know that I have kennels. This close? They're right. Yeah, they're pretty close. You, you said on the side. I, I'm on the uh, north side. I'm two houses okay. now. we got the renters. Yes. will be next to you. Then I'm the mm -hmm. stone. He has the stone on the front. And then well, I'm next I, to him. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. But mine goes down in, in books because I wanted to buy it from there. And yes, and okay. I don't know. I don't want to try to sell You, you said on the, the little yeah. pole barn on the back, yeah. the word yeah. is the yeah. going to be to the north of the, uh, the yes. pole barn. Yeah. <clears throat> Did everybody kind of see that? I know it's very hard small. to see. It is hard to see. That's the clinic. That's the clinic yeah. right there. That's the this is the This is the kennel area. Yeah. That's all fenced in. So there's going to be. The two buildings themselves, where the dogs are housed, inside and out, insulated, fully insulated. Like I said, so when they're in there, it's um, they can come outside to these exterior runs. And one of the things that's going to cut down on the noise with the kennel is that I do not socialize dogs directly. They can see each other, they can talk to each other through the fencing, but they do not go into the play area right here only one dog or one family of dogs in the play area at a time. And that is just for liability, it's for safety, it's for sanitation. It's just better off. You might have the best dog in the world, you might have the best dog in the world, but the two best dogs in the world are going to get along. I'm not going to test that. So each one of those buildings, like I said, is going to be surrounded by a privacy fence, a six foot solid privacy fence. That privacy fence is going to be surrounded by a green belt. Also, with it being next to the pole barn <coughs> and behind the clinic, and with the distance it is behind the houses from the house, then you've got the parking lot, then you've got the clinic, then you've got the kennels. The chances for any disruption at that level is pretty minimal, and I already gave John here. You do something, you give me a call. They're coming in. Um, I start operations probably around 7.30 in the morning when we get our first potty break. Which go outside our first breakfast, we go outside, come back in. Um, they're let in and out throughout the day. They don't stay out all day long, you know, weather, weather permitting. I want my customers to be happy, and one thing that makes them happy is that the dog is getting outside. One thing that doesn't make me happy or you happy or you happy is the dog's getting outside barking. There's a happy medium there. 
So they get as much outside time unless they're talking too much. And about, about now, actually, earlier, because it's getting darker earlier, they come in for the evening. They're, they've already had their dinner, their last potty breaks. Things are wrapping up at the kennel. We're cleaning up for the evening, and then we're on lockdown for the rest of the night. There is no outside time at nighttime. Everybody's on lockdown. Um, at that point, uh, the only reason that we have to go there at night, maybe if somebody needs a midnight check for medications or whatever. But for the most part, you're looking at operations between 7.30 in the morning, approximately 7.30 at night. The traffic is minimal. Um, unlike the current clinic that was there now, they have four doctors in there with an appointment every half hour, 45 <coughs> minutes. I have a drop-off time approximately 9 o'clock in the morning. Some drop-offs so during the day. the majority day. of what you do is boarding? The, the, it's my focus for this purpose. I also have other aspects of my business. I have other people that work for me. See, I don't, I don't know. I always thought of kennels as you raise puppies. And no, that is that is breeding. Mm -hmm. That is not kenneling. Kenneling is the purpose of boarding dogs for the uh, to make money. When you're breeding, I would not refer to that as kenneling in any way. So you're not breeding the I am absolutely not breeding okay. dogs. Because that's like I heard everybody say, well, you're going to have a puppy bell. No, absolutely not. I do not. Uh, in fact, you can't even come into the kennel unless you're fully updated on your shots. And puppies are not fully updated on their shots until five months of age. And they can't come in. I don't even um, see Carla has some pictures of the kennel right here. What's going to be in the existing clinic? The existing clinic. Clinic? I'm going to do it. It's going to be wonderful. I'm going to have an office. It's <laughs> well, that's an awful big building. It is. And we've got a lot of opportunity to Because the kennels are things. over here, right? Yes. It's, you got, what, nine kennels? In I there? have nine runs. Two kennels with nine runs total. Yeah, but those kennels have got to be split up. I mean, yeah. they're parsed, yes. You've you got to be yeah, yeah. walls or something. Yes, I'm thinking you're different gonna, buildings. I'm thinking you're going to have These are nine. gates. Fences. Yeah, what's here? There's going to that be That is a building. And if Carla's got that picture, I yeah, can I show you. Yeah, I should pass it over there. We wanted to go through it. That's okay. Real quick. Here are, when, it, when somebody says kennel, this is what they're referring to. Yeah. The building in which the dogs are boarded. Yeah, but when they're it, not all together. together. No, no, no. There's two separate buildings. This top one's got four runs. The bottom one's got nine runs. Or, I'm sorry, five runs. Yeah, and eight, a dog for each run. Right. Right. Well, dog, can that dogs go in and out? In the I'm building? in control of when they go in and out. They can't just come in willy-nilly. Some of them stay out there in a blizzard if I let them. But they, I am in control when they go in and out. But it's even quieter when they're they don't go out at night. They don't go out at night at all. No, 7, 30, 8 o'clock, we're done for the day. Then they're in the rest. Then they are in. And like I said, these are all fully insulated like you would have in a house, um, if not more so, because I don't want to hear them either. I don't, when they're in, I'm done with my day, I'm, I'm done. I'm your, you, you have a business someplace else, right? I do, right now, it's up in Riley Township. Where? Riley Township. Riley? Okay. Does Cameron mean temporary? Temporary housing. Um, when you go on vacation. I'll take it out, you got it out? Okay, there you go, now you got a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, other things that we uh, possibly were thinking of doing now that I have a wonderful building to work out of instead of a house. Um, next big thing, whenever my customers ask for services that I don't have, I will try and add those on. For example, um, the next big thing after kenneling that they brought up was grooming. So we took on some grooming and that's been taking off quite successfully. I, mean, I prefer to do that within the clinic building itself. Um, that would just be a lot easier. Uh, a lot of people have asked for cat boarding. <coughs> that's a new one. We're going to give that one a shot. That one, um, if somebody has my uh, previous proposal, I have that's what's called kitty cat condos, <coughs> where it's, you put them into uh, a cage that's multi-level. Um, and they can be housed within the clinic itself, and cats are pretty quiet. Another thing that we're going to offer is, let me back up. Another thing I do offer is at-home pet care and animal care. And the reason I say pet and animal is because we do everything from um, hamsters on up to Clydesdale horses and beef cows and livestock. Um, that's at home. 
but necessarily when you your kid brings home the hamster from school, now you gotta go on vacation, how are you gonna take care of the hamster? Do you really want somebody coming into your house? No, you can go grab a 10 gallon tank or we'll have a 10 gallon aquarium, you bring them to me. 10 bucks a day, we'll make sure he's got food, water, and fresh bedding every day. So that's another thing that we're gonna do in the clinic. Um, and those are all really quiet. And as, uh, as far as traffic, as far as odors, I think that we've addressed that. Uh, barking, I do not want to be a problem. Um, and again, if you're familiar with the house on Fulton, it needs a little bit of work. It needs a lot of work. And I want to do that work. I want to see it become what it should have been. I'd like to get possibly a hold of the Armada Historical District and see if they have an opinion wow. on, um, on anything they'd like to do. So you're going to be in Krause's old house yes. here? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Does he own them on both sides yeah. of the driveway? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So does anybody have any questions about the business itself? Yes. How long have you been in business? You know what? I totally forgot. I think it's around five years now. <laughs> Is nine enough to, to always be enough for you? Uh, my customers want me to stay small. So we're not looking at expansion I don't year. think so. Even if I wanted to expand, um, I would probably have already thought about this ahead of time. I would probably go to a much bigger commercial facility. Um, but uh, nine is enough for me right now. Yeah. Nine months is enough for me right now. Somebody um, in the building at all times then? What, during business hours? No, when they're in uh, lockdown, there's really no need to have anybody in there. But the advantage that I'm going to have while I'm in the village now is internet. Yeah. I can put cameras in there. And you're living right next door to the yeah. Thank you. You guys have any questions? Um, I'd just like to address the, um, the question about expansion. So, okay. um, in terms of the approval that is in front of the board tonight, or in front of the commission tonight, expansion above and beyond what's shown on the plan would have to come back to this body anyways and so you'll have a chance to review and, and oh, do it. the whole process again. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <coughs> well, I'd like to uh, thank you, Ms. Kudavent, for a uh, uh, great uh, um, Explanation. Thank you. I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but you explained it much better than we would. <laughs> okay. Uh, any comments from the public? Can I have one more question? Sure. What's the village ordinance on storm sewers and commercial parking lots? What is the ordinance? Uh, it, it all depends yeah, on the parking lot. What's that? I'm asking. Um, commercial buildings on either side of me on the low land. No storm sewers. Commercial building on both sides. I have an apartment building, multi type mm -hmm. whatever you call it, and I have a commercial building. So, okay, so there is, um, it's not really storm sewers, it's water runoff. Okay. So, okay, so water runoff is, uh, you were here when we talked about the Kraus building before, uh, and we had discussed the water runoff at that time. So that's what we do rather than storm sewers if there's a sewer present but a lot of places there isn't so. and i believe last time we were here cross was looking to improve and he was going to install the drainage it, it was going to be kind of if i remember there was something to that aspect yes there is not here we haven't this is a public hearing okay. That's so we're, we're, we're not we're not into that aspect as of yet all right Okay, so a uh, motion to uh, exit the public hearing. So moved. Same. Okay, no in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so now we're into the uh, <coughs> hearing, so that's the, the actual approval. This is the bed and biscuit. Uh, thanks again for a great explanation. So Planning Commission has heard uh, your previous explanation and this one. Um, so, it sounds like you've done your homework. So there's a few things that uh, we need to do. So the, 
um, your uh, screening and green belt or the um, privacy fencing around the kennel and the dog runs is is, is great. Um, so uh, as we kind of talked, so there's everybody has this drawing. Okay. So on the uh, part of lot nine, that would be the eastern section of that lot. So the um, the dividing line. So we're proposing to extend that green belt along here. Right here. Yeah, so it would be the north and south boundary. Mm -hmm. Okay, also on the southern boundary um, from the. Uh, we have to go up to the that point and we start here. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, how about for 140 or are you below it? So we're, we're, we're uh, at the tail end of the 140 to okay. the to the left or to the west. Yep. So where the corner of the building is. Mm -hmm. So we'll go a few feet from the east of the corner, east of the western corner of the building and require screening from there to the northwest corner and then going south all the way down that line, and then to the west, uh, to just past where the 200 foot is, so that would be kind of even with the dog runs, north and south. So what you've done is screen that, screen the whole that section in from uh, the three adjoining parcels. Actually, the four adjoining parcels. <coughs> So you're talking from here? Here you can put here. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. So here, here, and here. It's a whole so thing there. So here. Well, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. To. I don't think it went up. Yeah, here. but just stay here. That's the problem. I don't. Know. They trust oh, me. Stuff's actually wrong. So around this corner, that's you, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you were talking about, right? Um, you're just looking for a typical person. You're also Excuse me? You're just looking you live over here, right, sir? Yeah. yeah. John, John lives over here. You live over here. Correct. Yeah. Oh, he's straight. So you're yeah. over here. You said you're between the air and the other. Yeah. With the substance. Yeah. And if there's natural screening, you, you can use a natural screening. Right. So it doesn't mean you have to put something else in there. It's always there. Right. So it's just that you have to make sure that that screening is there. It's kind of like you've done here. So this is existing. You can put this in. So there's nothing shown on this drawing that there's anything existing, but it's right it. It, it, it looks like mainly on your property anyway. So yeah, right. so a bench will probably basically screen out. Oh, the, uh, I'm only here, here and look at the fifth rail in the yard. Correct. You know, right. Yeah. So then that, 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 that um, screens out you know, this area. You know, well, and it goes on that base. I mean, just, no, you don't have to. Yeah, just, just run it just past that. So draw this straight line, go a few feet that way, like it's good. Thanks, so Brian. Is, would you hear, would you hear much? Of course, they're not. Uh, you might they're not so much more here, though. They, they stay all night, night 20 times at Grouse. No, I was very interested. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's a little day, section right there. It's nice to be able to have that yeah. big squealing over there. Yeah. Yeah. Versus kicking and, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's cool for uh, the kids. I'd say it's never been a seem to be a problem for me. But I do for a while. Okay. So we can keep moving on. Yeah. <laughs> That's good point. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a little further back. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's kind of got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're kind of all in agreement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you're not adding any lighting. You're just uh, the external lighting. You're just going to leave the one that's existing there. There's two bars. There's two. two. One at the existing uh, full barn, and then one at the clinic itself. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Um, so those are existing. So the only thing that we would ask is that you make sure that it's uh, okay. Being as neighbors, does does that? Um, how is that light? 
Not a problem. Okay, good. So we can leave those lights as is? Okay, good. Okay. That's what I was trying to get out. Um, so the dumpster, if you're going to put a screening around the dumpster, mm -hmm. if we do that other screening, you have your natural screening, uh, um, just put it on a, some kind of a pad that you know, can be gravel, can be... No, we did have uh, fencing around that mm -hmm. to provide screening already. But if you do the the green belt screening, as long as you can't see the, the dumpster through that green belt screening, that should suffice. Mm -hmm. What's going in this dumpster? Well, I'm just no, I'm thinking, I mean, you, this is closer to the residence. Uh, You're talking about the pet waste. Yeah. You know, all the yeah. pet waste. I um, was actually thinking about using not a dumpster, but garbage cans because I can seal them off. But I'm, I'm just like wondering if it'd be a lot better up here more. Up where? Well, here you got it right, you know, close to the residence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, just where would you like it? Where would you like well, it? I'm just saying, uh, well, where well, did you back do here that? somewhere. How do you get there? Back here. Yeah. To be honest with you, right here, there's, 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 there's all sorts. You've got a drive back. There's a drive back here. Um, to be honest with you, I have like one garbage bag a week. So that the dumpster is actually kind of overkill. That's why I was asking if I could use um, garbage cans that have the snap tops. That's what I use now. And then there's really no issue with it. As long as you've got somebody to pick them up. I don't know. I don't know how that works, to be honest with you. You contract with your own. Yeah, so, yeah, the village does not have... Uh, Municipal garbage pickup. There's a so couple there for yeah. Okay, so like when I move into the house, I have to find somebody to pick up my garbage. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I mean, even so, like what I do right now is I just throw out my own my my kennel waste goes out with my personal garbage. Oh, okay. That's how much I have more personal garbage than I do for kennel. Kind of, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like it always take it down the road. So we have a real nice yes, very nice thing. Three hundred lines. Prepared. <laughs> Brian, Brian can buy. Oh, right there. Okay. So, um, uh, I'm going to introduce Brian Keithy. He is our uh, professional planner. And if you could kind of um, take over for a few minutes. Sure, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> You notice how I'm kind of delegating all this? <laughs> <laughs> so I get paid for it, right? Yeah. So, um, so uh, the commercial kind use, so Ben and I are, have been speaking about um, kind of the differentiation between a traditional kennel, which um, in planning and zoning terms is more considered a hobby kennel, something that you might uh, raise sport dogs or something like that versus a commercial kennel. Uh, which is a for-profit business, um, and so we're classifying this as a commercial kennel, uh, even though it is uh, a very small one in the larger scheme of things. Um, as a commercial kennel, uh, it is permitted in this specific site uh, by special land use. That's why we're all here tonight. Uh, uh, we've hit on a lot of the key notes from uh, from our review letter, but there are a few things that uh, I want to bring up, and we can chat about them. Um, the first would be uh, verification of an appropriate license to hold the kennel. Do you hold one? I don't owner? currently have one. The kennel kind of grew from the okay. property. But um, I have to have an existing kennel for Macomb County to come look at. And I know that I far exceed their expectations. Sure. Yeah, and I don't, I don't see anything <coughs> in all of your documentation that would cause any concerns there. So, but we will want to make sure that the village has uh, verification of that on file moving forward. Uh, the, uh, another concern from uh, the ordinance, uh, I mentioned commercial kennels because the differentiation, um, the ordinance requires 500 feet of setback from a commercial kennel to any residential structure. Uh, 
Uh, and so that, um, that requirement isn't met based on the confines of its site. Um, if we go back to kind of a, a hobby kennel and the requirements that are, are put in place for those in the R1 district, um, that, that, that separation is only 50 feet. It's pretty small. Um, unfortunately, there's not really a way around that requirement uh, other than a variance. So mm -hmm. any approval that this body gives for the special approval use will be contingent on um, the applicant being able to uh, achieve a variance for this particular use. Um, so oh, she's got to go to the zoning board of like the yeah. LCBA. Yeah, yeah. there would be yeah. another meeting. Yeah. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that are supportive of that variance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of things going for it uh, in accordance with the master plan and with the confines of the site as nope. it is. The non conformity um, yeah. Correct. Exactly. And I think that appropriate buffering that we've already talked about can get rid of a lot of the, the mm -hmm. concerns that that 500 feet is put in place for. So, mm -hmm. um, so just note that that'll be a, a item that you should uh, place any motion contingent on the granting of a variance. Yep. Um, the other piece that is later on your agenda is the land split. Um, there is some property being uh, reallocated and realigned. Um, for this, and so we can get into that later. But, um, the plan that you have in front of you shows post-split boundaries, mm -hmm. essentially. So, uh, so you will need to to make an approval of a motion contingent on that land split. Yeah, yeah, good point. Besides the fact you're, I thought you're going to go to the size, the acreage. Um, so the acreage is one uh, dimensional measure that isn't on the plan. The total acre. Uh, acreage should be greater than one. Uh, I don't have any concerns that this is going to be made. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I kind of did some head math and it isn't a whole lot over, but it's just over. 1.4. It's just closer. We, we calculated that to be approximately 1.42 acres. 1.42? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, so Thanks. that is the one piece of verification there. Uh, then in terms of site plan, um, the plan meets, uh, the plan exceeds any parking requirements for a use such as this. Um, there would be six spaces designated, uh, nine shown on the plan, including uh, two barrier-free spaces, so that's uh, not a concern. Um, there's a non-conformity being the shape that this is, um, the driveway is too small to meet modern standards. However, the boundary realignment is going to expand that the width of that drive to approximately 22 feet, um, which is just shy of the 24 required for a, for a driveway. So, but moving <coughs> closer towards conformity is something that this body can approve if you don't have any concerns. Um, didn't note that. Uh, the plan does show some ornamental fencing along that driveway to separate out the residential uses and kind of uh, uh, remove any concern about children running across the driveway, kind of at the blind, blind driveway uh, as folks exit. So that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned grading. There is no grading shown on the plan. Um, the keystone runs should allow water to run through just fine, so you don't have any concern with any increased um, uh, storm water towards any of the adjacent properties or towards the creek at all, so we don't see any, uh, any change in, uh, in the storm water effect. There is, I guess the last thing I'll touch on in terms of the site plan is the signage that was submitted. Anybody has signage uh, packets in front of them, but uh, there are two potential signs that were submitted. One was 15 inches by 36 inches. One was 20 inches by 36 inches. These are ground mounted uh, on two freestanding mm -hmm. legs. Um, the location is good. The site plan shows that the <coughs> sign would be placed outside of the clear vision triangle uh, as defined by the ordinance. So folks heading <coughs> so, uh, in terms of the ordinance, the sign shouldn't pose any concerns uh, for visibility. The size of the sign is well within the allowable uh, 
the square footage for a ground time on use like this in the own district. So we had no concerns there. Could I have a quick question? Sure. Um, I gave the dimensions 13, 15 by 36, 20 by 36, that's the size of the side. How tall are they allowed to be? They're allowed to be... I've had that question on my drawing too. This here, this is the goal. This is the line drawn on this. So the maximum is about 22. So it's going out to here. Six foot. Six foot tall? Yeah, but I, I wouldn't do that. Because <laughs> you, you don't really have a commercial area that you're putting the sign in. You're putting it in on a residential property for a commercial property. Okay. Plus so what would you like to have? Let's I would on. like the ornamental fence is three foot tall. I would like to possibly have it visible above the fence. So have the bottom. Isn't it? Well, you can't have the, the you can't have the fence three foot tall by the front of the driveway. Okay. So what is your ornamental fence going to be? I, in my original package, I gave you a, um, it's a oh, short okay. little picket yeah. looking fence, uh, three feet tall. Um, I, I guess what I'm asking is, is, is well, let's, let's get by the driveway first. Okay, whatever, there, there, I don't know, there, whatever it is. Okay, so there's a, there's a requirement that it's only 30 inches at the sight line. So when you're kind of coming to the sidewalk and you stop and go into the traffic, go into traffic, it can only be 30 inches. So that you can see over top. So. 30 inches of off paper. Yeah. Oh. So you could step it. Yes. So then your sign yeah, wouldn't need to be so tall because okay. it would be in that area. And then it goes up to 36 inches. You tell me how tall you want it. Really. Well, I'm only one person on the, on the committee, but I'd like it to be no taller than what it actually has to be. So what that entails, how Let's see, what is your it's a dimension? So you got one side at 15 inches, the other one is yeah. 20, so okay. 20 inches. So it, well, let, let's say using the 36, the 15 by 36. So now you're basically 30 and, and 15. Um, say 48. Only 45 inches. So you're under four foot. Give a few inches. Under four foot? Yeah. So, so four foot from the top? Yeah. I'd almost say the bottom of the sign should be six inches above. Well, that's why I was saying. Yeah. So 36, you're going to 51 inches. Okay. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That was that for sure the bottom of the sign. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You got it. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, if you put the bottom of the sign at 36 inches, then uh -huh. The top would be at 56 <laughs> for the taller sign. Yeah. Well, so if, we, if we go with the 15, then you're 36, so then you're 51. 51 inches. So is, is that okay, Suzanne? Do that again one more time. So make the bottom of your sign, use the 15 by 36. So um, make the bottom of your sign 36, 36. inches and the top 51. So you get a six inch gap between the bottom yeah. of your sign and the top of the fence. Yeah, so then you've got clear view okay. uh, <coughs> coming and going. That actually, you'd have a clear view no matter what from the south, but from the north, we're allowing you to have it a little bit higher than the fence so that um, people on the road can see it. I'd just like to say I tried to make it look old fashioned too. Yeah, looks nice. <laughs> so we're trying to work with you a little bit because okay. it's, de it's definitely non conforming. Okay. Um, That's doable. Yeah. That's more than I can ask you. Okay, so going into the driveway, we had discussed the driveway. Uh, and Mr. Keithy also highlighted it. So the driveway was always an uh, area of contention. Uh, being that it's narrow, you got um, two family dwellings on either, either side. So we decided it had a little offset. So on the north side, we're gonna get rid of that offset and make it straight across. Uh, and that uh, allows for another uh, two and three quarter um, feet added to the driveway width. So 
It was only nine, just a hair over 19 feet at the road. Now it's going to be um, yeah, 21, almost 22 feet. Well, must put 20 yeah, pretty yeah. close to 22 foot. So that's a lot better of, a, of an area. And then also we had discussed that you were going to put fencing on both sides of the driveway. Mm -hmm. Um, question is, okay, so we push that back, now there's grass there. Do you actually want to see that somehow paved, gravel? What is it that you're looking for to make it? If you put gravel in there, I mean, you could put some cold patch in. Uh, my main thing was to get the fence in and to allow it's that. Signify. Yeah, okay, so you can, you, right. anything that you want to put in there, um, guys. Right. Just to get it even with whatever the existing black path is. Further on. Which one? Get to the north of your drive. There's no fence there, right? On the driveway. Yeah, there's no fence there. That's not being affected that way. But in reality, <laughs> um, there's a border there that exists. You can see it because so we have to push it and then I have to fence it. Okay. Um, so isn't it John? Yes, sir. Uh, so in your um, question about the water runoff, the last uh, um, proposal for this property was an expansion in making more of a parking area. This isn't changing anything. Correct, I understand that. So, I think you've covered, covered all your bases? I have. Um, Chris? Yeah, I, I marked yeah, the same for three points, and we we're not into the site plan part yet, so. We can do them all at one time. Yeah, yeah we kind of are. The, um, so, the, the recommendations in the site plan, you know, I kind of hit on if we want to verify the um, area. So the dog oh, runs, no, the what, what are you going to do with the dog runs right. as far as uh, yeah. what, what, what's your ground condition going to be? The runs and the play areas are gravel. Okay. If that uh, actually, for lack of a better term, would insist on that. Okay. Versus concrete. Um, it's pretty nasty when we get to concrete. Are you guys fine with that? Mm -hmm. I am. I actually prefer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, if I may, I had a customer over the weekend, last weekend, and I took pictures, who does have concrete in their kennels, and it's it's just bad. And then you get into the situation in the winter where it freezes. And then you get a runoff situation because now I've got to power wash it, and where's that water going to go? And so. Um, um, so the other item that is listed in what, uh, as a concern was the appropriate setback for that dumpster location should be three feet oh, yeah. the property line. But Dave, if we're going to get rid of the dumpster or, or yeah, what do you want to do? What have you? Then we don't have that issue. <coughs> so we have to address it. So what do you want to do with the dumpster? Oh, I if it's up to me, I just uh, <coughs> don't have to go. Completely. Really. Okay. All right. That's easy. Yeah, I don't really have a need. So then you're just going to have to roll off container or roll around container. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody fine with that? Okay. Christy? Well, cool. sure. Um, what else? Nothing? Okay. Dave? Good. No, you hit the stuff. Christy? No, good. Ryan? I have. No. So now what we'll do is approve this contingent on ZBA approval, but yeah. the, the screening that we were talking about, that was all uh, geared towards an approval on ZBA. So, uh, so that, you know, it's, 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 we keep on saying it's a non-conforming lot. So what we're trying to do is just make it so that uh, when ZBA looks at it, okay, it's not conforming, but you're doing this, you're doing this. It, it's, Okay. Um, 
So what was my next thing? I lost it already. So you got that and the, conting and the contingent on the last split. Oh yeah, sorry, thanks. And yeah, and then it would be contingent on the last split. So uh, Dr. Krauss did not give us a drawing because we wanted to make sure that this was going to go through before he went ahead and did the drawing and all of that. So Could we use that? Sure, yeah. Okay, so we'll just use that. So he's going to have to come up with his own drawing. But this, this okay. what, what you guys have done here is fine. So okay. he can just uh, mirror this. Okay. Right? So we'll approve it uh, contingent on that. So you've got two contingencies. Three. Three? That's a third one. You said the third one. Oh, penalize the idea of verification right. of the, or the whatever we call licensure. Oh, yeah, I can't. Once I get the kennels moved in there and established, then Macomb County can come in. Mm -hmm. So that will kind of have to be a, um, I don't know how you want to handle that. Will, will my, can we say that I will get a license? Yeah. I think, so your, your CFO in that building is probably, you probably won't be able to exactly. get the CFO without proof of the licensure, so. So basically I need to get a, a bucket of CFO stuff and then it, we can move forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then there'll be another contingency. So we talked about the Harvard Vitae's, the green, the greening, no green, green yeah. screening. Um, so uh, this being October, uh, we would be glad to give you a uh, extension until next growing season to put that in. But how can we do this so that it's mandatory? Uh, over the uh, of the approval. Yeah. yeah, but once we grant the approval, you know, we've experienced this before. Sure. Right. So know, if it doesn't get done, then <coughs> what that, do we do? So, then what do, you do? so what happens is um, the special approval is something that the village can continually monitor. And if the, uh, conditions, if the conditions aren't fulfilled, you, uh, the village can take away that special approval. So, okay. Um, so this is to come to a halt. So it's sorry. Right. Oh, sorry. Correct. So, okay. so basically, you can tear my life away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, go ahead. No, finish that one. Okay. So, um, and we only we've been caught before. Mm -hmm. So our good intentions have come back to bite us. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as Mr. Kesey said. We're going to grant your special approval land use, continue that you do this. If you do not do this in the time that we specify, your approval will be rescinded. Okay. Could you explain your, your licensing thing again? Don't, did you, oh, didn't you say that you have to be a, that's okay. an well, active that's kennel? It, it has to be, um, they have to be able to see it. The, yeah, the accommodations that I have. They so have to actually have to be a functional one yet. Yeah. No. Have, okay. yeah. Oh, so you could do that in your process? Yes. Correct. Okay, yes. cool. So that's not really a hamperance? Not, no, not really. Okay. Um, you also was just thinking that this is only to her and does not pass with the land license. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Yes, yes, good one. Yeah, cool. Absolutely. Okay, so that, that was a new twist. Yeah, that was a new twist. Yeah, yeah. 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 I owe you one. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, special approval land uses, uh, Planning Commission for years and years and years thought that it was only went to the applicant. And after that applicant vacated the premises, uh, the special approval land use was over. But we found out that that is not the case. But since it is a special approval land use, we don't like to, to grant something that's going to go on and uh, in perpetuity, right? Kind of correct. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I get my words mixed up. What does that mean? Perpetuity. Oh, gee, forever. 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 Fifty years, and somebody takes out the screening, and then the special land use goes away, or it could be three hundred. Yeah. So what we're what our policy now is special approval land use is stated in the approval that only it is only good for the applicant. 
So if you were going to sell, whoever came in would have to come in and do the same procedure. So it would be a little less because you're already there, but they would still have to do it so that um, you could you could easily sell it as, as it is, but the approval process would be a little would be a little bit more. So it, it just gives us a chance that it doesn't morph into something that we didn't approve, and they can just move in. Then we can make sure that uh, health, safety, and welfare, and the, res the, the neighboring residents are all um, looked after. Thanks. Okay. Add one more thing so we can do the approvals at the same time that the site plan is approved. So that would okay. be your, your final condition on okay. special land use. Approve the site plan and okay. get her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so then you approve the site plan first? You can do them in any order. It doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. If you do the site so plan you do the first, site plan you would do then. condition on, on the special other approval, right. or if you do special approval first, yeah, it'd be condition on the site plan approval. Yeah. Do we got to do them separate? We can't do them together. Okay. Yeah, that's I would do them in two separate motions. Okay. <clears throat> so then we should do. I don't know. That's a really six of those half a dozen. Yeah. Do the site I plan mean, first, then do the special land use since you're going through those conditions right now. Okay. All right. All about those. After. All right, so Becky, what are our conditions again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's um, four of them. No, oh, there's, there's six. six. There's six now. Verification of kennel okay. license. Yep. Um, getting a variance through the ZBA for the 500 foot rule. Yeah. Um, the um, approval of the land split, yep. properly recorded. Yeah. Uh, green belts um, um, be allowed to be planted in the next growing season. Okay. Um, SALU is only provided oh, to this yeah. applicant and upon the condition of the approval of our site plan. Yeah. <coughs> Discussion? Hearing none, a motion to approve with the conditions? Motion to approve with the conditions as With the six conditions. With the six conditions as yeah. specified. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. One step down. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the site plan. So basically it's the same thing, just a little bit different. So um, so you, you gave, you've given us the drawing, you've given us multiple drawings, and, I, and you've done a great job of doing the presentations uh, to the audience uh, in your drawings and in the pictures that you provided. So thanks very much for that. And the narrative on the screen, too. Yeah. Well, narrative right. Narrative right. Yeah. Very helpful. Um, and that actually did help out a lot. So, okay, so we, we're uh, um, clear on the additional screening. Yes. Yep. We're clear on the driveway expansion. Yes. Okay. Um, so there's no there's no dumpster you're going to have just kind of uh, hand wheeling around the uh, garbage cans. Mm -hmm. um, Lighting is okay. Um, anybody else? I think yeah. Hold on, there, um, we talked about the sign. Oh, sign, yes. Thanks. Yeah. Sign, sign height is going to be. So your the fence. Um, it's mine. Your 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 fence on both sides uh, has to be. How far back? Yeah. Is it a car length? What is, how far back is it? Oh, good point. So the 30 inches. Yeah, the 30 inches. inches. So you got to be able to see over. Yeah. Up yeah. The line. yeah. It'd, it'd be from the sidewalk. It'd be from the. Minimum required setback is six feet. Okay. So that's for a sign. The sign. The fence. The fence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Five feet. Then we'll take our step back. Yeah, five feet along the front. Five 
five feet. Mm -hmm. So that it's supposed to be set back five feet from the sidewalk, period, right? So it doesn't really have a height on that, it's just set back from the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Correct? And then fences on the side and rear may be erected right on the property line, which is where we want them along mm -hmm. the driveway. Yeah. yeah. So you understand that one? Yeah. You can put your your fence doesn't have to be set back from the driveway. It does not have to be set back from the driveway. Correct. Put it right up to You can. You don't have to, but you can. Okay. So that that's kinda up to you. And your neighbor to the north on what he allows you to do. Does Dr. Krause still own that parcel? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what oh, that makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, What do you think about having your fence so that it steps down? Okay. Okay. So I I think that if you you don't really need to come back to your 25 foot that you've got because that's not really a corner. So the 25 see so you your sight line for your sign. Mm -hmm. So that needs ordinance, but you're not really on a corner. You've got a, you've got a driveway. Yeah. So really your sight line really isn't is actually going to be less than the offset of your sign to the right of way. Okay. So you don't really need to make that drop down maybe ten or fifteen feet. Am, am, am I going on the wrong direction here? Because the sight line is going to be this way. So instead of having this thing, because you've got to stop five feet back anyway, correct? So, I mean, you can do it whatever you want. So, yeah, why, why don't you come up there and push it on just to make sure the sure sign is very clear. Yeah. Out. So, what we're trying, what I'm trying to do is help you out as far as the sign goes, but kind of um, get this fencing. So, this, you, you, you got to stop five feet back. Mm -hmm. So, but here's your sign, here's your sight line. The other sight line's here, which is totally open. So, but I'd like this to be, so when somebody comes up here, they're not they, they're not hampered by that um, right. by that fence. So I don't know if that's really an ordinance. I'm just kind of asking you to do this because we don't really have too many commercial driveways coming out with fences like this. So um, and I would say that if we brought this back, so if a, a pickup truck is 18 feet unless it's got a, a double cab, and then I think it's 20 maybe 21 or 22 foot. So if we came back here 15 foot that 15 to 20 foot, mm -hmm. which would give, even if somebody didn't come right up there, they could still see the, see the sidewalk. You're really not trying to see the road, you're really trying to see the sidewalk. Correct. So you want to see kids on bicycles or, you know, somebody on a, you know, coming through here that... So you want to start five foot back and then you want an additional 10 feet? Well, I, 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 would, I would say, you know, uh, so this total would be 15 to 20. Okay. So, you know, that. I, I, if you if you did twenty, you I, I, let's let's call it twenty. So you step into your fit your fence down fifteen foot. Okay. So we'll go five foot setback. Yeah, fifteen foot of lower. Yeah. Yeah. From there, we'll raise to thirty six. Yeah. yeah. That sound okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, again, it, it's it's an unusual thing. You guys go along with this. Mm -hmm. It's unusual because you have a commercial driveway close to two houses. So we kind of talked about this, Susan and mm -hmm. you and I that. You know, with the safety was a, a was a real big concern, and that's why we extended the driveway. So if we're not truly considering that a corner can we no, uh -huh. no. within that space. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So this, so this still goes by ordinance, and ordinance is kind of going that this is this is the commercial drive that it is, mm -hmm. but it's different than what right you know than what it actually is. So I could actually scoop the sign up a little. No, no, no I don't think so. I'd say the sign you stuck with. Step yeah, back. right. Yeah. All right. So we got to, we, you know, we, we kind of got to stick with ordinance as much okay. as we can. Right. But then I, I, I want to hit on the safety thing here besides just the ordinance. Right. So the last thing that either one of us would want is that 
you had this sign up here further. Somebody came up here and some kid on a bicycle were coming over here where so you want that see. sign back further so that, you know, that, that sight distance is, you know, maybe somebody, 16 year old kid's gonna pick their dog up. Sure. You know, nothing against 16 year old kids, but <laughs> I was one once. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. So okay, just kind of let the audience know what we did. Uh, we're discussing the fencing that uh, borders the driveway and a safety issue with sight distance and sight uh, um, for pedestrians and uh, um, other people on uh, self-propelled vehicles. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, your driveway, whatever you put in there, you, you might want to do asphalt in the end, but you could probably do a cold patch. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I had gravel, and if you're going to remove snow, you push yeah. the gravel. So, but kind of, kind of whatever you want to do. Christy? Good. Dave? Good. Chris? Brian? Cool. Okay. All right, so what's our conditions on the site plan? What do you get? I have that she's going to put the fence on both sides of the driveway, that she's going to install that green belt. She's going to remove the dumpster. All right, but the fence is going to be 30 and the transition is going to be at 20 feet. 20 foot from the right of way. Right of way. Yeah, so that's basically the sidewalk. So we'll call it the sidewalk. The only other item I have is screening, but you've already addressed that in the special land. Yeah, because so we don't need to size and size. So it's here, here. a foot in size. Okay. Sorry, what was that again? So the only other thing I identified in the letter was additional <coughs> screening, but we've already taken care of that yeah. Yeah, in the special land use condition. No dumpster. Uh, so we need a motion there. Here we do. Uh, Go we'll, ahead. Well, if we forget yeah. about the drive, if there was anything else on the driveway extension, that additional 2.74 feet, what did we say? I didn't that's as long as that's in a special approval, that's, that's well, whether do we need to shown on the plan, it's so we don't need to okay. 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 address anything. Yeah. Like that. All right. All right, motion to approve the uh, Susie's Bed and Biscuits site plan with the condition as specified. Well, how about we? Okay, so let's say, I'll say, let's go ahead and put them out there. Yeah. How about we add that uh, this is special approval, and it, it um, all the special approval uh, items need to be satisfied. You want to go back? Can I add to the other okay, one? Do that we do that or not? It is contingent upon special land use. All right. Yeah, but you just gave the reason for that one, though. Uh, it is. Contingent upon maintaining the conditions for special for special approval. approval. The special approval conditions have been met. Continue to do that. Continue, yeah. Continue, Continue to be met. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We're top our Do we need to mention the last spot again? No. I think you got that covered. You got it covered in the other one, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A reread. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to approve the site plan for Susie's bed and biscuit with the following conditions. The fence is on both sides of the driveway, set back five feet from the sidewalk, 30 inch height or 20 feet from the sidewalk. Uh, green belt will be installed, dumpster will be removed, and conting contingent on all SALU conditions being maintained. Okay. Motion? So moved. He did. He moved. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Welcome to Armada. Yay. Okay, so you have a few conditions. You got to go to the Zoning Board of Appeals. So do that kind of right away. So they, they meet only on request. Okay. Um, so what is. I have that right here. Huh? 
I have right here. Oh, you're ready. Okay, cool. So okay. what do I do with it? Um, give the drink to that. <laughs> okay, all right. So don't give it to anybody. Um, okay, so uh, then we have to get uh, with Dr. Krause about the land split. He's got to register the land split, get that done. Um, and so you got to basically do all the things that we talked about. The only thing you had to, uh, um, a um, uh, leeway on is the green belt. Oh, we didn't have a time frame on the green, green belt. That's the next, next growing season? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we should have put a date. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that covers it. Yeah, but okay, so yeah, you'll be fine, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just thinking of timing here now because I've got to get inspections done. Well, the, your timing all hinges on, on, at this point, it's just you, so it's special approval land use uh, and, the, uh, and a lot split. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and start working. Then once you're all <coughs> done working, uh, other than the green belt, you can go to Dennis and you, our building inspector, and get a uh, certificate of occupancy. You're going to need to get a full of building permit for these shed things that you're building? Oh, they're anywhere. already built. Okay. Well, how about installing the shed things? Because you're going to have heat, right? Uh, yeah, it's individual to the building. Uh, understood, but you're still going to have... Yeah, there'll be some minimal permits. Yeah, so you're, you're going to have, you're gonna have, you have permits. So the permits, and then you're going to get a certificate of occupancy. Uh-huh. But don't I need inspections on the clinic? Only on the building. What? So what, I, I, I don't. What do you mean? It's yeah. What do you mean? Electrical. Mechanical. Yeah, yes. Yes. That's okay. a, that's their building. That's yeah, yeah. the building. Okay. So, Can I different. start doing that? I know it's a little out of order. I would say that if you feel comfortable investing in this before you get these other things done, that's all on you. Because then I can start. Um, it's all right now it's a matter of timing there's several things overlapping but the first thing that i can uh start working on really is certificate of occupancy inspections for the clinic i still have to operate my panel so is that okay if i go ahead and get those i've often done things out of order okay, okay. in terms of issuing a building permit you mm -hmm. can do that now that you have zoning yeah. approval so yeah. you can look at it and say as long as all of his all of the building inspectors items to check off are done okay. um, this board the approval they just gave is one of them so okay it's um, so okay feel free as Ben said if you're if you're comfortable making the investment mm -hmm. yeah so can the ZBA approval be done administratively or does that require another meeting sorry it's going to be another chair mm -hmm. okay. okay how do we go about scheduling that meeting Becky does that well, when you turn all your paperwork in, yeah. Yeah, the they will contact you with when they schedule their meeting. Okay. I can talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, is that you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also with my questions. Okay. Anything else? Congratulations. Welcome yes. to Armada. And good luck. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, questions from the audience were answered. And Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So now we're doing the land split. Doctor Cross is in here. Did he put her his application in? Okay. So all we have to do is this isn't special for the wood. Just the land split. So um, we're gonna. Um, and Darren started mowing and then notify so Dr. Krause yeah, that the, uh, the special approval was granted with this 2.74 oh. extension onto the driveway and then he can do the necessary paperwork for this and with the specifications on the rear back here. So it duplicate this drawing. Okay? It's almost done, Ben. It's, you know, it'll be completed. You'll, you'll have it right away. Okay. It's already okay. been we kind of thought so. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then, this so we'll grant this approval. Uh, it's okay with the board. Grant this approval, 
uh, on condition of getting the documentation from the county. Okay, yeah, so it would have to, uh, I guess maybe you should let us see it, let yeah. bring it to the office, let Becky see it, make sure it's okay before you go ahead and spin the wheels and find out and say, whoa, that's not right. Okay, great. But just let us look at it, then it can go to the county, get registered, and everything's kosher. Okay. Okay? Thank you. So, discussion? Chris? Dave? Motion to approve uh, with the site plan as presented for Susie's. We did. No, lots we of did. lands. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we, we did. did. We, we did the lot split. The land split. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, Sorry. land split as proposed. <coughs> as proposed for the Susie's site plan drawing. So I'm going to okay, second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On the conditions that we receive, that gets recorded. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, on the condition that we receive the documentation from the county. Yes. Okay. If, if we can, so there's a meeting going on. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. He's all excited about being my neighbor. Okay, well, so we can, if we could hold the discussion until the meeting's over or go outside. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, so and I'm glad that you guys are uh, you know, cohabitate uh, or something like that. Who <laughs> 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 uh, the pants between you? Um, okay, so what's next? Uh, Do we pass that motion? Yes. No. We, uh, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, who first? Yeah. 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 Becky was. Becky was in. motion on the I second. No, I stopped. Christy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris, 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 Chris. Yeah, yeah. You see, see. You first did? I first did, yeah. 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 I first did. That must be a okay. little nerve. Yeah. <laughs> We're all getting confused now. Okay. Um, so, Chris, you uh, made the motion. Chris seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Okay. So moved. Okay. Um, all right. 10A. 10. 10. Yeah, 10. Special Plus. approval for um, 22755 barrels. So what we're doing is taking a, an existing church and turning it into a duplex. So we have two drawings. Uh, Mr. Nichols is here and Miss Nichols is here. So what do you guys want to do? So which, which, which drawing? I don't know which drawing. That doesn't matter which drawing we do. They're both... They're both uh, Within setbacks. Okay. So or, I haven't. Okay, made you got to come up with the thing before you get a uh, building permit. But I guess we could approve we're not either one we're not or we're not. We got to set a public hearing. Well, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. Say it's yeah, that's public hearing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Okay. So uh, everybody can <laughs> understand what's going on. There's still. Um, I asked for dimensions on the building. That's still not on the drawing. Yeah, it is. It is. Isn't it? No. The dimension on the existing building. I've got it listed on there that it's 36 by 80 because I got all the computations there. Well, it must be on this piece of paper. Yep. Okay. So, but when you, so we'll, we got to, I want to put those on the drawing. Okay. So all we're going to do, does everybody understand what's going on? No. No? No. Okay, the church is a church, correct? It's no yes. longer a church. Correct. Okay, so now it's going to be turned oh, into a duplex. Right so that's allowed in the village ordinance. It, it requires a special approval land use, just like we went through tonight. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that tonight. We're setting that up for our next meeting, which would be the first Monday of November. And then we'll kind of go through the same process we did tonight with the special approval. But again, this meets ordinance. So can. Can. special approval. Can. Can. Huh? Can meet. It can. It can meet. Uh, it can meet the ordinance with the special approval. That'd be November 6th. Okay, November 6th. So it's being approved without public hearing? No, 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 no. no. Public hearing. I, today I, I guess we're going to have a public hearing November 6th. And then after, and then it'll go forward. It's the, the same thing that okay. happened okay. tonight. Okay. So if you've Thank got you. objections or support or something, you can come to that meeting okay. and Thank make you. those known. Yes. Thank yes. you. Good. Okay, so a motion to set the public hearing I'll for right. November 6th, November 6th. 7 30 p.m. Yeah. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. 
Okay, sorry for rushing, but we got a lot of stuff to cover and we all want to go home. Okay. So, um, and by the way, Ben, the answer what you were asking is on this page. You got the dimensions. Yeah, I know. It's just nice it's, if you got every, all, all, all the drawings, yeah. all the dimensions on the drawing. So we'll we'll get that done. Okay. Um, so okay. So yes, letter. So in your site plan. Uh, last month, we requested counsel, and um, Mr. Conan, you weren't here. You could have helped our cause. We requested counsel to write a letter to the C1 and C2 people to help the building inspector so he didn't have to act always after the fact that people would know that if they had a sidewalk sale or if they put anything out on the sidewalk they had to get with the building inspector first they couldn't just arbitrarily go do whatever they wanted when they wanted so council declined to write that letter for whatever reason i have no idea um, I wasn't at the last meeting, so um, did, did, was that discussed at the meeting? Yeah, it was. Yeah, what yeah. was, was, was their direction? To get Dennis to write the letter. I think the letter should come from council. If what do you think? Um, I have no problem with Dennis Lemieux doing it. He's going to be the one that enforces it. Understood, it, but if it if, it's, it goes. If it I comes, have no problem with you requesting. You know, if you want to give a request to the council to reconsider it, that would be fine. Okay. So would you support our position? I'm not sure yet. Okay. Well, I would request that you would support our, our request because if you ask the building inspector to do this, there isn't quite as much as if you just said council write a letter and... Uh, I don't know what... What Dennis has said on this subject. Either. Well, Dennis, so what we're trying to do is just help the building inspector out. So again, rather than have something, have him have to act after the fact, just write a letter stating, you know, just stating the ordinance. But why wouldn't he want us to ask if, if he thought that was going to help him? Why wouldn't he ask that? I think because that's he's what, actually that's asked. what that I think that's if I understand right. He's asked us to help out. Yeah. So that's we're the intermediary. I'll have to talk to Dennis see what he's saying on this. But what, you're, what you'd like the council just to write a letter to the business people downtown reviewing the uh, ordinance. The, the, the ordinance, ordinance. Yeah. for, uh, like if they're doing a sidewalk sale or something. You know. any, anything, any, any activity that protrudes onto the sidewalk. So, okay, so the, the Planning Commission did. Um, Cozies. Right. So they came they came to the planning commission for an approval. So but if you have a major thing, you have to come to the planning commission. A minor thing, and we did it in a sign ordinance where if you put a sign if you you're allowed to put a signage out on the sidewalk, but right in the, the sign ordinance says that you have to contact the building inspector to um, to do so. And I think there's actually something in there too if you have a sidewalk sale, you gotta do that. I, I didn't see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. No. I looked. So, um, so what if we gave what if we gave Dave or Council the letter for them to well, for them to well write because it, it didn't really for them to put it on for them to write it. I mean, you're telling them what to write. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess help, we could do that. And so. they help the situation. Yeah. Is it? They don't either know I what to say, want to say, or put it in Jeff's court, for example. Maybe I don't know what I don't care either. So yeah. I guess it, 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 I guess maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a letter go out from somebody uh, because we know that that's been violated this summer and we've had complaints about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I've had citizens ask me about some areas downtown where they felt it was difficult walking through because mm -hmm. there was things for Trudy. I don't want to, you know, there's more than one. It, it, and then, okay, so you, you have that aspect, but the planning commission aspect is if somebody comes in, does everything they're supposed to do, and gets an approval, and their neighborhood just goes, their neighbor just goes ahead and does it, what does that make us look like? Yeah. You know, this kind of thing happens constantly and It does, but we're trying, we're trying to go ahead and do things. Understood. So and it doesn't think. necessarily make it you, make you look bad because somebody goes and does something that may be somewhat of a violation. It does not make this office look bad. 
Okay. But I do agree that it's nice to be consistent. Yes. Very nice to be consistent. Okay. So, um, so that was my 10A. If council doesn't do it, I would hope I would I'll bring this back to the board at the next meeting. Okay, public comment. Don't all speak at once. <laughs> and on regards to the letter that you're talking about, I guess we council would like input to know what the ordinances are so we're not just willy-nilly making up our own stuff. Well, part of it would be the zoning ordinance, but part of it would be the code of ordinance. So that's why I don't want plain well, that's, what, that's why we kind of threw it back on Dennis because he's the enforcer. The enforcer, he, but he, he knows. <laughs> I believe he knows what he's enforcing, but well, member, some members of council don't. So okay. that's why you need a letter with certain specifications on it, so we know what we're agreeing or not agreeing to. Okay, so then how about if we get a consortium? So we get planning put in our input, mm -hmm. Dennis put his input in, and you guys have put an input in, and council takes all this and puts it, it into a letter form and right. sends it out. Okay, I can see that happening. Does we that kind of give our stamp of approval with your recommendations and yeah. Dennis' recommendations. Because I think that the letter holds the most weight if it comes from council. Mm -hmm. And then, again, all this really is to do, all that, all that we're trying to do is circumvent anything happening in the future. At least then they can't say, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. right. No, that, I think that'd be good. Well, do you think because you send out a letter to everybody that somebody won't come back and say they didn't know? But we, <laughs> that, 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 may be, that may be the case. But at least you can say, well, we did send it to you. Yeah, so well, we've, done, we've, done, what, like, we've done due diligence, yes. and all you're really trying to do is just make it a level playing field. Yeah. Just okay. yeah. Plus, so it's like somebody said on TV today, the bad guys are going to do what the bad guys do no matter what the laws are. Okay. Um, no public comments. How do you think we did tonight? <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks. Um, Put that with the arm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So chair report. Um, so first, the, the first thing I had was a sidewalk letter. Um, the next thing was uh, um, Fritz. So we talked about Fritz last meeting. I did uh, get a call from Jeff uh, near the end of last month. He wants to set up a meeting uh, with, uh, um, uh, with Mr. Warlock, myself, and um, Ed Saratowski. So we kind of would like that to happen this week. I don't know if it is, but he wants to have that meeting soon. So moving on from there, there's a free seminar put on by Roe and it's on this very subject. So promoting economic development and addressing issues related to subdivision condominium development. So that's kind of what this is, is a condominium development and it is a free seminar uh, put on by our planner, not our, yeah, not our planner, uh, but sure. our engineer, sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> And this is going to be on October 20th, uh, excuse me, 26th. So we have to let them know by the 20th. So it's 26th from 7 to 9. So you went there one time. So anybody wants to go, I think I'm going to go and you could drive with me or go by yourself. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, just let me know. Okay. So, or let me know, let Becky know. Okay. So you have to kind of remind me since you took that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, okay. Um, so, this is kind of in the vein of the letter again. So, our made of jams put up a big band. They were asked to take the banner down, they put the banner up. So it's no longer in the, on the fence, but, oh, Armageddon, excuse me, yeah, the one Armageddon. 
Um, so, but yeah. that banner is not a legal entity in Armada. So there are other ban. There has been another banner like that. It's the, it was hung by the fair, the Armada Fair, or Armada Agricultural Society. Um, but that was done with approval of the Planning Commission and the Village Council. So there were banners hung on a fence in the park, and that was done for the Armada Jams. That was also done with Planning Commission approval and Council approval. It was done at no expense to a community group. Armada Geddon knew about this, but they still chose not to do this, and it's an illegal banner. So I want to let the public know that this can be done, it just needs to be done through the proper steps. And I don't know what will happen, uh, but um, the proper channels need to be followed. So all it is is a meeting, but <clears throat> I'm not going to go further. Okay. okay, anything else? Something to say on that one? On that one, I would say so, you know, the previous ordinance before we just updated it wouldn't have allowed that type of sign. In yes, the first place. So yeah, the, new, the new ordinance does allow a mechanism for the town or for the village to approve those kinds of signs. And as you said, it is just a yeah. meeting, ensure standards, and, and move on. So I think we made a step in the right direction with the new ordinance to address those kinds of things. And, just may take some coaching to get everybody yeah. up to date with the process. So I guess I, I, I skipped that one. So again, those the, the type of signs, so the fair board sign has been up there forever, but it was really against ordinance. The, the signs in the park were against ordinance. So we created an ordinance that made all that stuff possible in a legal sense. So since everybody else did this, we would also like, we would like everybody to follow the rules and we, as Mr. Keithy said, we created an ordinance and a vehicle to do, do just that. So we want everything to go along, just everybody go along in the proper fashion. Okay. And I think that will happen. It just didn't happen this year. Correct. It's a new yes. ordinance. Yeah. Uh, what was done in the past is not necessarily now. Some people and their enthusiasm didn't quite realize that, hopefully. In the future, things will be, but I know it's, it's a little bit frustrating. But yeah. I think everybody will get on board. Yeah, and it's not again. This is just a new new ordinance. Before, like you said, before that, we really were doing things that weren't within ordinance. Yeah. And we're also so this is nothing different than what had been going on. Correct. But hopefully, this will get corrected. Yeah. There's been a, you know, there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of people trying to do things for the community and uh, sometimes everybody butts heads but hopefully uh, well, that's things will get smoothed out and we're working on that. And that's why I brought it up this evening. Okay, so and, and then kind but of... There's no the, bad guys here. So in the same vein, uh, the uh, lion sign has been taken down on the four corners. Um, we're working on uh, yeah. something to replace that. It just... Uh, need somebody from the Lions to get hold of us to uh, go any further. So other than that, um, nobody has anything else. A motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, I can get up all of it. <laughs> I first. I first.